अंधेरे में क्या कर रहे हो नटवर रोशनी में नोट अच्छी तरह दिखाई देंगे विद द होल हिस्ट्री ऑफ क्राइम स्पैनिंग फाइव डेकेट एंड सेंटेंस्ड फॉर एन इनक्रेडिबल 113 हंड्रेड थर्टीन ईयर्स बाई वेरियस स्टेट कोर्ट मिथिलेश कुमार फेमसली नोन एज नटवर लाल वॉज द अल्टीमेट कॉन्फिडेंस ट्रिक्सटर ही सोल्ड द जूल ऑफ इंडिया ताज महल नॉट वंस बट थ्राइस नॉट ओनली ताज महल बट ही सोल्ड रेड फोर्ट ट्वाइस राष्ट्रपति भवन वंस एंड इवन द इंडियन पार्लियामेंट अलॉन्ग विद इट्स फाइव हंड्रेड फोर्टी फाइव मेम्बर्स Let's find out how this notorious man got his first dig at stealing. Born as Mithilesh Kumar Shivastav in Bangla village of Sivan district Bihar, Matwar Lal was a lawyer by profession before he started duping people of their money. He had mastered the art of forging signatures of famous personalities. before he set his sight on selling historical landmarks of the country Matwar Lal is said to have first discovered his prodigious ability to forge signatures when his neighbor sent him to deposit his bank drafts Mithilesh devised a master plan where he would forge signature and withdraw money regularly from the account The game was up when his neighbor discovered that his account was overdrawn by 1000 rupees But the Robin Hood of Bangara wouldn't have given up so easily. He fled to Calcutta and enrolled as a student for a Bachelor of Commerce degree. Simultaneously, he worked as a broker in the stock market. Famous lore about him tells us that once the then president Dr. Rajendra Prasad visited a nearby village. Mithilesh wanted to grab this opportunity to gloat his skills. He put on a great show and earned a job by copying the president's signature. But this didn't satisfy him and he took his talent to become one of the most famous con men in Asia. In the 40s, Mithilesh Kumar cashed huge in on the shortage of textile goods and moved into the big time. It was then that he earned his name Natwar Lal. He defrauded by disguising as a purchase officer to the textile commissioner in Bombay. The 50s and 60s saw Natwar Lal moving rapidly across the country, calling jewelers, bankers and traders. He was a master of disguise, used more than 50 personalities. Even the Birlas and Ambanis were not spared. He tricked them by posing as a social worker. and stole items worth lakhs from others he conducted some of his major heists in the 80s he would pose as a personal assistant of union minister and lured the watch sellers in delhi into lending him watches no minor detail was ignored forged brilliantly no one could tell about fake documents from real how were forged bank drafts issued then the owners never doubted him due to his personification He would use same trick with variations in different cities, personating a purchase officer and other cities as a high-profile person. With over hundred cases in eight states, he really made it big in the wanted list. He had been sentenced to a massive one hundred thirteen years in jail by various courts. Arrested nine times, he made eight daring escapes, each time from a different jail, and. His last act was when he was 84 years old in 1996 arrested for the ninth time. During that time he was being transported from Kanpur jail to the Ames hospital for treatment under police escort when he disappeared at the New Delhi railway station never to be seen again. Just like his life his death was also a mystery. While his brother claims to have cremated him in 1996 in Ranchi His lawyers have a different story to tell. They claim that Natwar Lal died on July 25, 2009. Natwar Lal's wit took him far as his life also inspired a movie by the same name, 
स्टारिंग अमिताभ बच्चन इंस्पेक्टर साहब यही है वो आदमी यही है वो आदमी अच्छा तो यही है वो साहब आपने भी इन्हें पहचान लिया होगा मिस्टर नटवरलाल इंस्पेक्टर साहब आए दिन मैं गरीबों और मुफलिसों की मदद करता रहता हूं आप कितनों की सूरतें याद रखूंगा ये गरीब मुफलिस नहीं है स्मगलर्स हैं अच्छा सूरत शक्ल से तो भिखारी लगते हैं